Adekunle Ajashin University at Kungba Koko, Ondo State, Nigeria, was established by the Ondo State government in November 1999. This was consequent upon the need to relocate the former Ondo State University from its original site, which had fallen into another state following the creation of a new state out of Ondo three years earlier. Thus, at creation, the university did not have the privilege of the painstaking planning, infrastructure, equipment, and tools needed for effective takeoff. It faced considerable challenge relating to shortage of classroom, office, and laboratory space, and above all, instability in leadership. While commendable efforts were made to tackle these challenges in the first decade of the university's existence, it was not until the emergence of Professor Femi Mimiko as the institution's fourth substantive vice-chancellor in January 2010 that a real turnaround in the fortunes of Adekunle Ajashi University began. At present, AAUA has a little over 14,000 students, 1,340 academic, administrative and technical staff, and five faculties, arts, education, law, science, and social and management sciences. In addition to these are the postgraduate school, the library, and academic support facilities like the computer center and institute of education, the institute for part-time programs, the center for diploma and pre-degree programs, the entrepreneurship development center, and the center for general studies. From the moment he came on board, Professor Mimiko, a professor of political science and Fulbright scholar, former acting dean of Faculty of Social and Management Sciences, former head of department, former deputy vice-chancellor, and later acting vice-chancellor, brought into the governance of the university a huge passion, strong convictions, and an unmistakable sense of purpose. AAUA has managed to secure accreditation for all its courses academic and professional, in line with the university's vision to be a foremost university committed to moving manpower developments in the direction of self-apprenticeship. Over the years, successive administrations have endeavored to uplift the institution in all ramifications. Always seeking to be a first-class university in research, knowledge, character and service to humanity, as outlined in its mission statement, the university has focused on the expansion of infrastructures, enhancement of student support services, and deepening of the integrity of its academic programs. In line with its resolve to build a 21st century university properly called, the administration took off, carrying out wide-ranging reforms, building institutions as pillars for transforming the university from relative obscurity to national and global reckoning. Before uh, Professor Mimiko's uh, uh, regime, so many wrong things uh, were done. For example, I mean, admissions were not given on merit. But now, you can be, you, you can stay in your house, obtain your jam form, pass your jam, come for your post me, clear your post me papers, and uh, be given admission. I'm an example. I didn't know anybody in this school. I could remember when I gained the pre-degree admission. I think the just university was not like this. The roads were bad. Infrastructures were nowhere to be found, but thank God for this great improvement. I would say this university remains one of the state universities in Nigeria that pays the least amount in terms of school fees. And since I came into this um, university, the school fees has been has been has been moderate. There has been no increment. The present administration of the school has done a lot in terms of um, administration, in terms of um, keeping the school fees on a constant low for students to afford, in terms of um, giving us good buildings, you know, good lecture theatres, good library. In the area of student support, apart from being virtually the least tuition fee paying university in the country, the Professor Femi Mimiko administration established the Student Work Study Scheme in 2011 to give opportunity to students for out-of-class productive engagement. They work for a minimum of two hours per day, for which they are paid a stipend 
to help them get by while in school. In 2010, the university launched its campus bus shuttle scheme with a fleet of buses to ease the problem of transportation faced by staff and students within the university campus, while the Student Relaxation Center, a rendezvous for students, continues to be constantly upgraded. It is a place to be for students as it serves as an information center on campus where global sociopolitical events are monitored on cable television at all times. In the same vein, the university management emplaced the Vice-Chancellor Student Leadership Forum, VCSLF, to create an opportunity for students to interface with management on all issues relating to their aspirations, challenges and expectations on campus. Besides, the administration allows students to conduct elections into the organs of their union and govern themselves without interference. Complementing the creativity of the team in place in the university is a state government, the proprietor, that has demonstrated so much commitment to the development of Adekula Dashi University. The goal is to make AAUA a reference point in Nigeria and the world at large. Thus, on March 22, 2013, they visited to the University and Governor of Fondo State, Dr. Lucia Gumimiko, inaugurated six building projects as part of the activities marking the university's fourth convocation ceremony. These include the 500 capacity Obafi Maolo Lecture Theatre, the University Electrification Project, the Vice Chancellor's Lodge, the University Guest House, the University Shopping Arena, and the University Gymnasium, all of which were completed under the new administration of the university. Between 2009 to 2013, AAUA executed over 60 infrastructural projects to tackle the challenge of shortage of classroom, office, and laboratory space. Indeed, the number of physical projects delivered in the past four years is much more than the university executed in its first 10 years of existence. Some of the most compelling of these structures include the Senate Building, a five-story edifice of exquisite office space that accommodates all the administrative staff of the university, a 10-kilometer asphalt overlaid road network, the 500 capacity above Maolowo and Nelson Mandela Lecture Theater, the University Staff School, the University Health Center, the U Classroom Blocks, the University Internet Resource Center, the 60 Shop Shopping Arena, the Burstree Village, and a major electrification project that extends electricity to a substantial part of the 820 hectares physical space of the university. There are also the Tet Fund supported 30 classroom quadrangle that accommodates 4,500 students at a time. The 600 capacity Umar Yaradua Lecture Theatre and a new laboratory building designed to serve as a temporary central laboratory. There are the NDDC sponsored 450 capacity male hostel, the Osopadek sponsored 550 capacity female hostel, and a hall of residence designed to provide 12,000 bed spaces for students upon completion, on which work has started in a PPP relationship with some private investors. There is no doubt that the Adekunle Ajashi University has transformed from an innocuous school to a real university within the past four years. So we give kudos to the Prime administration for actually transforming the environment you know, under which uh, students uh, study here. And of course, that also is robbing, uh, robbing uh, much on the quality of uh, lectures and the products we are having from this uh, university. At the University, it's no more a glorified secondary school as it was used to. Because I remember that there was a time the late governor, Dr. Lucien Magadou, said that university was a glorified university. Things have changed and now it is a university. Uh, before the present administration, many people used to call Adikula Jash University a glorified secondary school. But right now, Adekula Ajash University has come to take its place in the committee of universities across the nation. Even today when you are talking of infrastructure, 
we can say that we are really at our own peak. The infrastructure, it has been very, very, it, it, it has developed very, very well. For example, if you come for night classes, we use candles, we use lanterns, which spoils the eyes of most students. But now, we have solar lights that, that, that cover from the night to the morning and you can read and read and read. We have one of the beauties I can call a massive one that it's been a long time I've seen such and that's the same beauty. The hard work, commitment and dedication underpinning governance in the university in more recent times are daily yielding results evidenced by its raising in March 2014 by the United States Transparency International Standards Eustace, as the best state university in Nigeria. Earlier in the year, AAUA came first nationally in the 2013 annual youth debate for Nigerian tertiary institutions, organized for all tertiary institutions in the country by the Federal Minister of Education, Abuja. The National Universities Commission had way back in 2005 voted AAUA as the best state university in Nigeria and eighth best among all Nigerian universities in terms of quality of academic staff. The current phase of the development of Adekun Lajashin University is focused on deepening the integrity of its academic programs through improved and more socially relevant curricula, enhancement of the pedagogical prowess of its academics and deepening of its cosmopolitan outlook, especially in staffing and student intake. A lot has changed and you can see physical development, you can see human capacity development and so much has taking place to transform the university. Several people have been given scholarships to do their PhDs and they have come back and they are working hard. We have had loads and loads of awards and laurels won by this university in academics. The lecturers, they have uh, benefited from the coming of the vice chancellor because a lot of promotion exercises went on. Uh, there are others who went on Fulbright and there are others who attended international conferences. In terms of um, the studentship we have produced in the last four years, obviously go to law school, I can exams, our students are doing very well. In terms of student lecturer relationship, it has improved. You, you hear cases now, you don't you longer hear cases of sexual harassment, extortion, sales of hand that these have these things have stopped. Thus, apart from the university advancement office which provides the broad platform for coordinating global supports to the university. The university also established the University Advancement Board, bringing into the fold men and women of integrity in the larger society to leverage on their exposure, experience and positions in life to mobilize funds and opportunities for the university. Other institutes and centers were also floated Amongst these are the AAUA Leadership Institute for Public Policy and Sustainable Development, the Women's Studies and Development Center, the Adjash University Theater, and the Teaching and Learning Center. The Linkage and International Programs Office was reconfigured to drive the university's commitment to institutional networking and consummating academic exchange programs with sister universities and sundry funding agencies across the world. As a strong believer in the maxim that an institution is as good as its staff, the Vice-Chancellor pays attention to staff welfare, putting in place staff supporting packages even before industrial unions asked for them. For instance, AAUA was the first conventional state university in Nigeria to adopt the salary components of the controversial 2009 Federal Government Unions Agreement. On assumption of office in 2010, the Vice-Chancellor expeditiously processed the backlog of staff promotion cases and has since then ensured that staff promotions are processed as and when due. His administration has also instituted a life assurance policy for staff that is unmatched in any university across Nigeria. Besides publishing regulatory books, 21 of them in one fell swoop, to put the academic and administrative operations of the university on a sound pedestal. The university has also entrenched merit-driven admission and staff recruitment policies 
to enhance the integrity of its academic programs and hone the capacity of its workforce. Without doubt, Professor Mimiko in the past four and a half years has affected a paradigm shift and implanted a period of renaissance at AAUA that is perhaps unprecedented in the history of higher education in Nigeria in recent times. He has done a great job, perfect job. Small wonder, therefore, that today, Adekunle Ajashi University keeps attracting people from the nooks and crannies of Nigeria and across the world. It is obvious that Adekunle Ajashi University is one university that has become a platform for positive change, an institution irrevocably committed to becoming not just the best in Nigeria and in a number of the most critical parameters, but also one to be reckoned with globally. Adekunle Ajashi University has made a statement to the world in the past four and a half years that building a world-class university is possible in this climb if the political will and institutional resolve are in place. Welcome to Adekunle Ajashi University at Kumba Kukondo State, Nigeria. A young university eternally committed to producing globally competitive graduates, confident problem solvers, adequate in character and learning, a major driver of national development and key player in the global drive towards sustainable development, a 21st century university properly called. On its current capital campaign, here goes the Vice-Chancellor, Professor Femi Mimiko. The capital campaign uh, program is uh, actually uh, to broaden the financial base of the university. And as I speak, we have quite a number of uh, physical projects that we intend to fund uh, through this uh, effort. Uh, we have, for instance, a uh, new library complex uh, that uh, has been designed, uh, which is going to be quite uh, magnificent. Uh, we want to put up uh, a few more hostel facilities for our students with a view to ensuring that we provide adequate best space so that as many students as are willing to stay on campus would uh, be able to have uh, places to stay. Uh, we also try to develop a central laboratory. The whole idea of a central laboratory, a central research laboratory, is, 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 is predicated on the uh, the, 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 the conviction that it is no longer fashionable, neither is it even uh, uh, advisable in terms of funding prioritization to have small, small laboratories for each of the programs that you have on campus. So the whole idea of the Central Research Laboratory is to have a huge laboratory uh, with the latest of equipment that you need uh, to do meaningful uh, research such that uh, researchers, students, faculty from different uh, units and schools of the university will be able to find a place adequate as a research, the research laboratory. These are some of the key projects that we have in mind. Uh, let me just add uh, uh, that we're also launching, uh, we're also going to put funds into a student scholarship scheme. Uh, the whole idea behind that is to ensure that there's no student that has reasons to drop out of school by reason of inability to pay, especially those students that are bright and who perhaps are indigent. I therefore would like to use the opportunity to call on all men and women of goodwill, uh, lovers of education, lovers of our society, uh, lovers of our future, uh, to come up and support this capital campaign by donating generously uh, to the university. So I can assure you, uh, with our sense of responsibility and modesty, uh, that the, the, the system we have put in place at Adekunle Ajash University is such that we we'll make for transparency in the administration of the funds or the projects that uh, uh, you may wish to uh, uh, make available to the university will be appropriately and transparently administered. That's assurance I can give.